What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Honeybee. Back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys. Um, we welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, cross watchers, visitors. Everyone is welcome here, you guys. Pull up a chair. Um, tell a friend to tell a friend, of course. Thank you for the likes, shares, and subscribes, you guys. Please feel free to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend, of course, and we're going to go ahead and dive right into the reading, you guys. Oh, also, I do offer personal readings. If you are interested in purchasing a personal reading from me, feel free to check the description box down below. My contact information is listed there. Um, when I was doing the last reading, y'all, the last card that came out was this card, um, which says masks, secret, deceit, lies, hidden, true, hiding true intentions and hidden feelings. So some of you have people around you um, who are hiding. They're being deceitful towards you. Like these people could be, they put on a happy face around you or this person may come in, this person that you're dealing with may come in like they want to rebuild a connection with you, but this person, they're, they're lying to you. They're keeping secrets from you. Um, I hear despise. Like, so this person, this may, this person may have a love hate relationship towards you, but this person is definitely hiding their true intentions when they come towards you. I hear like, um, what else? What else? What else? Like this person may have the desire uh, here to connect with you sexually. This person may want to keep you trapped, you guys. So be careful with this energy here. This person has a, is determined to, it's almost like, a, this person is determined to conquer you sexually like this person may feel like if they could come in like it's almost like they could trap you with the sex for some of you they want to trap you with a baby uh i don't know why her stds like be careful with this person y'all this person may also um cage cage this here i wanted to tap into this energy because i didn't like it it was something that i picked up on this could be in like you know spell work love spells being done but this person is living in their shadows in their shadow side this is a very negative person um they could be in an unhealthy oppressive environment like this person wants to keep you trapped with them it's almost like they can't hate they they can't stand to see you moving forward with this fangs energies here like this person is almost like a femme fatale type energy this person wants to stick their sink their teeth into you and this person is an, it could be an energy vampire they're emotionally draining this person is manipulative you're dealing with a narcissist this is narcissist energy right here bad traits yeah power honey hungry um they abuse their power to control the vulnerable so this is the type of energy that is this is some type of energy that is surrounding you at this time be wary of these people this may be someone that you actually have stopped dealing with you could be dealing with this person um or this could be someone like i said like who you're dealing with but this person is actually wearing a mask a mask because the mask is here it says hiding true intentions this person has some hidden motives you guys you could be dealing with a, a power like this person wants to keep you trapped you know why would a person want to keep you trapped right when you trap someone like you have control over them right you have the power like this person you may be a powerful being and this person like they see you as a free spirit like determined like and this person is determined to win you over like for a lot of you i hear this person wants to trap you with a baby like it's something about it's something about this person this is sexual energy like this person has a lot of sexual energy towards you you know and they may come off like they want to date you like they want to be this good guy good girl but this person is just determined to like bed you is what i hear oh wow this person is devious, like almost like a vampire energy. It's sneaky behavior, gossip. They are complaining about you to others. So this, this person may also, um, this person may be in the energy of like trying to make you look like a bad guy, look like the bad guy here, whatever the situation may be. Like they'll put it all on you or, you know, well... This person could be big on gaslighting. Hmm. This, if this is not a, a, a partner that you're romantically involved with, you guys, this is someone that you know, you know, like could be a quote unquote a friend. 
they they could have not be living so happy in their life right now so this person wants to keep you trapped it's almost like they're showing me someone with the side eye like you know like they look at you with a stink face like every time you know you'll notice those people when you're doing something good and you're happy and you're shining and you're glowing like you can almost see the look in their eyes like this person is i hear jealous as well hmm they talk about you to other people though it's like look manipul they are manipulative this person will also try to make you feel guilty when you don't give in to their desires this is person the type of person that is obsessed with um they're power hungry and like you know it may be it's giving them a hard time right now because maybe at one point in time whether this you you be a friend or this is a, a love situation like you were always their yes man and i feel like you're not doing that anymore you're not you're you don't you don't vibrate in that type of energy in, anymore i hear this person is growing angry about that this person is growing angry because they no longer have you in their in their in their grasp because you're no longer in this cage right look immature behavior they play too many games and make it difficult to ground anything with them bad traits so this person also has bad traits right this person also if this is someone that you've been involved with like a partner or you have kids together this person this will be the type of person that will um they'll bring the kids into it like well what about the kids like you gonna do this to your family and whoop de woo but not like i said manipulative gaslighting you know they don't never want to talk about what they do it's like everything that they do they do is always your fault or it's somebody else's fault they don't take no accountability this person is childish like there's some they they have they're trapped in a mind like this person they trapped in um this person is full of themselves they full of shit they full of it i'm i will mental abuse they gaslight you and or send mixed signals i just said this this person will gaslight you like everything that everything is someone else's fault it's never their fault oh please emotionally draining emotional uh, um, emotional abuse mental abuse this person is a narcissist paranoia suffering from paranoia just waiting for you to slip up or be unfaithful is driving them mad okay so this may actually be someone that cheated on you right this could be someone that cheated on you right and this person is waiting for something to have to throw back in your face like it's almost like this person goes out looking for something and like you know like it's one one little thing you could do like you could not take out the trash or you could not have dinner ready on time and it'll be like well if you won't do it I, I know somebody who will do it like i can go i could be out here doing this and this and that and that you know like they find reasons to go out and do the things that they want to do um but this is what they wanted to do anyway look cheating it was a one-time mistake and now feeling regretful so this is definitely the energy of someone that has cheated on you before oh this person is something else they're manipulative yeah they they you they try to find little things about you um that excuse like they're cheating like that'll justify their cheating or for them being sneaky or manipulative towards you like their bad behavior they try to this is someone who tries to justify their bad behavior what else spirit settling they rather settle than to break up because it's not exactly bad but not great either so this is someone that are like they probably stay with you or stick around with you because the benefits are good like you know it's uh, almost like an energy of it's cheaper to keep her type situation but this person know they're not gonna find they're not gonna find uh what you provide okay so provide like they know that you're they're not gonna provide find what you provide anywhere else so you may be a good a great provider um but this person feels like they're settling with you in other in other areas so i hear like sex this person may not be into you sexually which is why they cheat i heard like this person like they don't they don't even like you like so this may be someone that sticks around like especially if you two have kids together for the kids and because you are a good provider and not only that this person knows knows how to tick your buttons they know how to manipulate they know how to get their way with you 
This may be someone that's trying to come around like to rekindle. <clears throat> they say one thing but do another, giving you mixed signals. So this may be someone that you try to talk to this person. Like, you know, we if we're going to make this work, this and this has to work. And, you know, um, some things have to change. And they make promises. They make promise to do so. I'm going to get better. Like, you know, just don't leave. Let's work on it again. And then once this person gets you back, they they do the total opposite. This person sends out mixed signals. Like, it's like, almost like, I hear like this person... They two-faced I hear they talk about you with other people too, especially if like this is a, you know, this could be around a friend, but this some, could be someone that you, that you've had romantic, a, a romantic connection with. This person talks about you like, especially if they cheat on you, they have other, you know, guys or dudes or females that they're talking to. This person, they pillow talk to these people about you and it's not good. Like they say some, some nasty, hurtful things about you behind your back arguments as if they love to argue and create drama where there is none so this person is like i said they full of drama this person is toxic you this is a, a co this is a covert narcissist like this person is overly narcissist and it's like they, it's almost like they believe their own their own crap like they don't see nothing wrong with the things they do like this person will make excuse after excuse after excuse this person don't like to take accountability it's always somebody else like oh it's always someone else's fault why they do the things that they do like yeah be backstabbing careful who you trust they're up to no good you don't trust this person like you you feel like this person is no good i feel like you know whoever you are if you stop dealing with this person is because that you know you know that um you don't trust this person. It's almost like I hear like I, I can't get over that. Like so this person might have did something. They could probably cross a major boundary and you feel like, you know, like you this is nice. Like this person has crossed the line. Like you can't get over what this person has done to you. Look, artificial love. They don't really love you just stringing you alone. I just said this. This person don't really want you. Like they, they feel like this person feels like you're a good pro provider. And this person also is a liar. Um, they wear masks. And pretend to be something they are not cover. This is almost the energy like I hear like they came up and forgot where they came from. But this person, you know, like this person, I also hear like put you down. Like this person will try to put you down to make themselves feel big. But you know, like if you have to put someone else down, the only time you can stand tall is when someone someone else is on their knees like then how how tall are you like how strong are you really secret money they have a secret credit card or hidden money that they're hiding from you yeah this person will drain they are they'll spend yours but they'll keep theirs like you know like i said this person likes the fact that you're a great provider hmm 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 mm and last but not least, spying. They are snooping, hoping to get more information on your sneaky behavior. So if you're not talking to this person or you're away from this person, trust me, this person is watching to see what it is that you have going on, who it is that you're talking to, what type of information that they can get about you. Like this person, I hear like a, they have a lot of nerve. This person definitely has a lot of nerve. Um, seriously, this person has a lot of nerve. It's like... Oh wow. Hmm. <laughs> what else? Yeah, this person is it uh you and her memo from this person, so this is definitely someone that you're not talking to at this time. Like I feel like you took a step back from this person and now this person wants to trap you. Like I feel like some like for some of you this person may feel like already like they have you wrapped around their finger. It's almost like I I hear like it don't matter like when I come back they gonna you know like I I can have that back like this person feels like especially if you have kids like they feel like you are always they're entitled to your energy whenever they want it like it doesn't matter who it is that you're talking to or who it is you're dating or what it is they got go you have going on this person feels like whenever they come back that you two will just pick up where they let where you left off. I hear, but I, I hear a hat trick, like you have a hat trick up your sleeve. This person, I will be able to come back so freely and easily this time. I hear, um, look, see what I'm saying? 
this you're isolated from this person but this person definitely wants to come back with the six of cups energy which talks to reconciliation this could also be someone that you know from a past life or someone that you've been with since um you guys were younger this is who you're isolated from at this time right but look at this star like this hermit like hermit energy look at this star that's trapped the star is literally trapped in a lantern right this person is trying to keep you trapped can't make it up see this cage right here this is almost looks like a cage with the little star this person is trying to dim your light this person is trying to keep you from shining elsewhere this person knows like this they like they know they know that you are a great person like you're a star like you know like you have a light around you like you're a great person but this person wants to keep you trapped in toxicity this is because because this person is toxic like they're emotionally draining their energy sucker like you know this person is someone that lives in their shadow side they're a negative person this person sees your determination though endurance this almost reminds me of the sun card um which is leo energy what else spirit king of cups yeah look in reverse this person is emotionally draining this person is emotionally manipul manipulative king of cups in reverse this is this is the first the the energy of someone that does not love you right this person plays on your vulnerabilities though like i feel like at one time this person you might have loved this person very much and this person like they really did a number on you right it's almost like i hear they took your kindness for weakness and you moved away from this person that's so why i feel like this person is not going to not going to be able to come back so easily for because for a lot of you like you're pouring out your cup of love for this person you're pouring the, the emotions out like this person it's almost like they can't manipulate you anymore oh wow be careful because this person is coming back around the mountain baby they're coming back around the mountain ace of cups yeah they want a brand new beginning but for a lot of you i feel like you poured out your cup of love emotion for this person like you no longer love this person but you have you have interest elsewhere you have a new blossom a new love that's blossoming elsewhere you have new love that's coming in and for a lot of you this is why um like you're letting go of this person but for some of you also this person they have they have uh they're trying to keep somebody else on the side too they have someone else too that they, that they, they could be dealing with possibly you see sneaky behavior spying this person is almost like this person know that you out here talking to someone and they're spying to see who you who now who you're giving your cup of love to because this person can't feel your energy like you're probably talking to this person less and less if this is for someone that you're and i know this person will try, probably try to keep tabs on you just to make sure that they still have the access to you but this person is they they feeling they fit in there uh that access is being denied it's almost like this star is coming out of the cage this star is being freed like you know this star is, is coming out of the cage right we okay look the lovers <laughs> it's over for a lot of you like you made the choice to put down this connection and you want you looking for it for for love elsewhere like you're hmm, some of you have swore off love um uh, and some of you are you're you connected with someone else you're connected with someone else you're giving you're no longer off your you're pouring this love this your cup of love and see yourself but for a lot of you like you know the lovers in an upright also talks about making a decision making a decision like a choice between two and i feel for a lot of you you have chosen to put an end to this connection this loveless connection over here this artificial love and you're you're offering your cup of love elsewhere because in reverse this lovers talks about a decision that's been made you made a decision to close the door on this connection but I feel like this person turned their back on you. This could be a free fall. I hear a freak. This person was a free fall. Emotional man manipulative. Like I said, for a lot of you, they use they use the kids right here because there's two kids. They use this this toxic toxic karmic use the kids to keep this King of Cups trap right to keep them in hermit hermit mode. Oh wow. What else, spirit? The high priestess energy is here. But somebody is being guided. Somebody is being guided by a high priestess energy here. You could be this high priestess energy, or you could be connecting with a high priestess energy. Hey, you could be the hermit energy as well, you know, being isolated from this person. And um you're being guided towards a high priestess energy or this could just be you using your intuition 
you're trusting your intuition at this time it's almost like i know what's up it's like you see this person for who you are like you're not allowing them to blindside you anymore any longer because you know what this person in game is you know what the angle is like this person is just trying to get you, get back in your good graces they're trying to get you back in that grass like i said this person is trying to like a femme fatale type energy this person is trying to seek their teeth into you they're trying to seek sink your cl their claws into you like as a means to keep you caged what else spirit what else they're telling you to trust your intuition. Look, everything that was hidden, this person had a lot to hide, right? Everything that was hidden, it, it came to light <laughs> with this moon in reverse. It came to light. Like this, it came to light about like I hear like you see this person for who they are. This person can't hide them from you. Like you know what the end game is. I feel like this person's pattern has been consistent. They've always done the same thing, same thing. And it's almost here like you're not falling for it anymore. Like, you know, this high priestess energy with this moon energy, this is a very intuitive energy, y'all. Like like nothing could be hidden from this person and if this could be you like i said this could be you it's like I almost here like you're no longer blinded by this person anymore like you took the blind your blindfolders off when it came to this person this could definitely be someone that you share kids with definitely so the world look king of cups the king, you, I said, you decided to pour your cup of emotions out for this person like the love is gone you decided to finally put an end to this situation like you're no longer wearing a mask like you're taking this this mask off like you see through this person this person can't hide they can't hide anything from you anymore like you already know the game it's like i know i hear like i know your game before you even play it type it's like they old tricks not working no more they know it too it's like you see the truth you're trusting your intuition you're following your intuition and you're, you're you're not allowing yourself like fear to keep you trapped like when i say fear like this could be like feeling trapped the fear like this person may be like well you know i'm gonna put you on child support i'm gonna keep your kids from you like you know what i'm saying like you're not gonna ever like how you gonna do this to your family like you ain't gonna never get us get us back and this and that and you're realizing that you could actually have your kids without having this relationship but the love was going anyway like you already know like this you don't it's like you don't love this person no more you don't love this person anymore like you're no longer giving your cups to this your cups to this person you're giving it to yourself like you made a decision to begin anew you made a decision to begin making a decision to begin anew elsewhere with someone else and this could be someone that you that you are involved with or talking to at this time but it don't have to be this could be someone that's coming in right because the world card is endings but it also signifies brand new beginnings what else, Spirit? Clarify this Ace of Cups for me. You went within and now you're finally deciding to trust your intuition. Look, the sun. Didn't I talk about this sun? I say Leo energy, big Leo energy. For a lot of you, you are happy being by yourself. And for a lot of you, you've connected with someone new and this person makes you happy. Like this person makes you light up. You know what? This person had, had that star trapped in a cage, right? This person allows you to shine and glow. Like it's almost here like refreshing. You know, like when you, you're in the sunlight and you jump into some water. That's very refreshing, right? This new connection is, is fulfilling for you. Give me one final card, spirit. Strength card, right? And this time you're standing your ground. Like, I feel like you're not going back to the situation. Like, no matter what they do, no matter what they say, like, you've made the decision to move on. Like, you're finally being confident. Again, the sun and strength is Leo energy. Some of you may be a Leo or you may be dealing with a Leo. Don't have to be. You just may be tapping into this power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have a lot of major arcana here. So, which leads me to believe this was, a, a, this was destined to happen this way. For you to find your strength. For you to find your confidence. Hmm. I hope this helped you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.